I'm Kelly. And I'm Morgan. And this is Try and Concentrate. The hypothesis we made about our project is that Tropicana orange juice supplies your body with the most vitamin C compared to Minute Maid, Great Value, Simply Orange, Langers, and Dark. The objective of our project is to experiment and determine which orange juice has the most vitamin C, Tropicana, Simply Orange, Great Value, Minute Maid, Dole, and Lakers. Two variables in this project, one of them was the dependent variable, which was the amount of orange juice that you are titrating, and your independent variable was the amount of iodine in milliliters used to titrate uh, six of the different orange juices. Some questions are, what happens when iodine is added to a starch solution? Answer would be, when iodine is added to starch, it reacts with two different types of polyscarides that are in starch, amylase and amylopectin. This reaction made when starch turns to a blue type color. Another question would be, what happens when iodine is added to a starch solution that also contains vitamin C? The answer would be, the vitamin C prevents the iodine from reacting with the starch. Once all the vitamin C has reacted, any additional iodine reacts with the starch to form the blue complex. Okay, part of the procedure, you would start by adding like 30 milliliters to the barrette, and then you add 20 milliliters of the orange juice to the cylinder and add 10 milliliters of starch, and then you titrate that and do it to each orange juice until you find out which one has the most vitamin C. Um, and in conclusion, our hypothesis was incorrect. Um, Tropicana did not have the most vitamin C out of the six orange juices, but using this information, you can still drink um, Tropicana orange juice to get vitamin C for your body. The procedure to perform um, the dilution of Wiggles uh, iodine solution, add the 30 milliliters to the 500 um, milliliter cylinder and bring the total volume to 300 milliliters and then you pour this into the like brown amber glasses. Step two is to make the starch indicator solution by heating 200 milliliters of water in a pot, adding one fourth teaspoon of soluble starch to the pot and let cool and store in tightly covered glass jar. Step three is to make vitamin C solution. First, you start by crushing the 250 milligram tablet into 100 milliliters of distilled water and then you pour that into the 500 milliliter cylinder and then bring that total volume to 250 milliliters. Step four, you set up the barrette and ring stand. Step five, titrate the 20 milliliters of vitamin C standard solution. First, you use the 50 milliliter cylinder to measure 20 milliliters of the vitamin C solution. Pour this into the Erlenmeyer flask, add 10 drops of starch solution, and then check to make sure that the bottom of the barrette is closed you put iodine solution into the barrette. Um, use the lab notebook so you write where your initial value was and then add drop by drop of iodine and swirl for each one. And then once the titration is complete, it will be a blue black color and it has to last for longer than 20 seconds. And then you record the final level of the iodine solution remaining in the barrette. Step six, prepare orange juice for testing with a 20 milliliter of juice per titration and filter orange juice through cheesecloth to remove and pulp seeds. And step seven, titrate the orange juice. You prepare um, each step when you repeat um, step seven, but this time you use 20 milliliters of orange juice instead of the vitamin C solution. And you check the level of iodine solution in the barrette before each trial and write it in your lab notebook. And then in step seven, um, the solution, the titration is complete when the iodine creates a distinct color change. The color will be harder to see than the vitamin C solution since the orange juice starts out orange. And the color will change from orange to grayish brown when the, um, when the titration is complete. And then remember to record the final level of the iodine solution in the barrette. And the difference between the initial and final level and the amount of iodine titration solution needed to oxidize the vitamin C in the orange juice. Step A is to titrate your other orange juice samples separately. If you test the orange juice samples on a different day, 
Make sure to make a fresh vitamin C standard solution each day that you measure the vitamin C in your orange juice samples. For each orange juice, um, Tropicana Minute Maid, Simply Orange, um, Dole, Langers, and Great Value, um, calculate the amount of vitamin C in the samples by setting up a proportion as shown in equation one, and you will solve for vitamin C too.